So let's talk about the many pathways that regulate pulmonary hypertension disease progression. This is an area of active research all over the world, and people are trying to understand which pathways should be targeted. There are several that have been described thus far, but um, suffice it to say that if I gave this talk in five years, we might come up with some other ones that are not here. So prostacyclin opens blood vessels and helps them widen and relax. Nitric oxide, um, this is a very potent signaling molecule that has a very short half-life and it signals blood vessels to relax. Endothelin um, is signaling blood vessels to tighten up when it's high particularly and um, also to constrict so that it signals the muscles to essentially flex. Angiogenesis, so this is talking about stimuli that make new blood vessel growth and can be important in pulmonary arterial hypertension. Growth factors are things that regulate cell growth and enhance or tell cells to turn over more frequently or divide more commonly. Inflammation is things that um, promote uh, an immune response, like recruiting white blood cells to come to an area and fight off an infection, or in this case, just to come to the, to the blood cell. Neurohormonal activation um, includes signaling for blood vessels to relax or constrict and can regulate blood pressure in the body, in the rest of the body, not just the pulmonary artery. Cellular metabolism is really important in pulmonary hypertension. It's how energy is generated for cells and is definitely altered in pulmonary hypertension. Extracellular matrix is uh, talking about the parts of the vessel wall that are remodeled and cause them to be tight and stiff. BMPR2 signaling is really critical to pulmonary arterial hypertension. It is known that patients with heritable PAH frequently have mutations in BMPR2, which is a gene, and also the signaling in this pathway is altered in almost all forms of pulmonary arterial hypertension, and it regulates vascular remodeling and is an area of intense study. Calcium signaling regulates blood pressure and also tone of the blood vessel, so it regulates how tight the muscle cells around the blood vessel are constricting. So the pathways that are currently targeted by PAH drugs include the three that you see here, prostacyclin, endothelin, and nitric oxide.